put off by how long this video is, don't worry. I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast. So while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. But hey, if the video is just too long for you to watch, chances are I recorded a shorter version and the link will be in the description box. It's not an inferior video, it's merely a Cliff's Notes version of this very video. Death Rally 2011 PC Game Review. You don't actually have a name in this game, I'm pretty sure, but you are a bit of a criminal, and the Texas Sheriff, or something along those lines, stops you and he promises that you won't go to prison as long as you participate in the death rally, which really raises some questions about, the, the, I, I don't know, I would have thought a chain gang or something, but anyway, and he is certain that this will drive out the adversary. It's a racing game, you don't that they don't tend to have particularly, you know, plots that make sense. Anyway, this was originally an app, and it really shows. It is far too simplistic to really hold up as a PC game. I suppose a good start, a good place to start, is compare it. The old one, it, it, it's a remake 15 years after the fact, and although that is 300 years in video gaming, people remember the old game. You can still play the old game, in fact I highly recommend it. Anyway, so yeah, comparisons are unavoidable, and they're almost all to, in, in favor of the old one. Basically, where in, in the old one, you had this sliding scale where you could choose the color of your car from any color in the entire spectrum. And this is, this is something you enjoy in, in a racing game, being able to customize your car. You're, you're driving it for a while. It's not Grand Theft Auto, you're not switching out cars every five minutes for something that... You're, you're saving up money and buying car. Well, you used to. Anyway, I'll get to that in a not terribly long. In this, you just have a handful of pre-colored versions to choose from. Yeah. In, yeah, like, like I was saying, in the old one, you, money is actually important. It's a factor. You, everything you earn, you have to think very much about how you're going to spend. It's like Raptor Call of the Shadows. Do you want that you know, some, something that you can really afford, which might help you make more money to get the really impressive thing. In Raptor, it's a weapon. In this, it's a car. Or do you want to save up money for the really big, expensive thing, which is going to make it harder to make money to use on the big, expensive thing? It's actually... You, you have to think about this. And that is really, really cool. It, it gets you into it. It makes it makes it feel important. Every little decision. Do you need mines this round? In this game, they just provide them. Do you need, you know, th this, that, the other thing that might help you win the race, but also might end. You know, if if you lose the race, that's a lot of money lost. And in this, it just. It, doesn't matter. The game is basically all about grinding. You just 
you don't even get to keep the money that you don't spend on the car. You, the car and or the weapon that you used this round. Even if the car you used this round, you don't actually even own yet. So early on, you, you actually have to, you know, if, if you don't pay close attention, you might end up spending money, you know, repairing a vehicle that you're not going to be able to drive for quite a while. Anyway, the, yeah, so, so basically the money, you, like in the old one, you can upgrade the, the car in various ways, and like I said, in this one you can only upgrade the one you drove in the race that you won the money in, even if it was, yeah, even if that's not the one you want to be upgrading, and yeah, and then there's the the weapon that you most recently used it can also be upgraded. And any money that you can't spend, let's say you don't have anything left to upgrade that you just spent, the money will just be lost. It, it says some BS about, oh, it'll maintain your fame level. I don't know what that means, to quote Spoonie. Yeah, the, the fame level is basically how you are... It's, it's what all games with any kind of multiplayer thing has, and even non-multiplayer games a lot these days. Just, it, it tracks how, you know, yeah, are you a level 1 or are you a level 8? It's, it's how much you have access to them. And this one might sound like a minor thing, but there are no pedestrians to run over and or shoot. In fact, I'm not sure this game has any R-rated material, which... Death is right there in the title, I don't know why you're playing it so safe. This is kind of... Again, this context is kind of important here. The original game is from 1996. I believe the original Grand Theft Auto came out in 1994. The original Mortal Kombat came out in 1995 or thereabouts. Are you seeing a theme here? R-rated violent video games. That that was when the whole debate of are these games too violent? It came up and it was kind of there was reason for debating it. I'm not saying I agree that violent video games cause real life violence anyway. And this is just, I don't know why they bother remaking it. It's its kind of like that original Paul W. Anderson movie version of Mortal Kombat. Why are you going to make it if sort of one of the big draws of the, the thing you're adapting is not going to be present in your adaptation? The boost control, this is a big one. In the old one, you basically have a limited amount of boost and there's a button that you hold down and let go of and it might really matter. It, it'll, you know, when, when you're making a difficult turn, you don't want to be using boost all the time. And so, yeah, it, it pushed your skill to the limit. How good are you? at driving. And in this you can pick up these boosts and then you press the space key and then it just uses up the entire thing, even if you really don't want it to. And it's, obviously you still choose when you activate it, but there aren't that many stretches of the dozen or so, half dozen or so levels, yeah, I wish, half a dozen or so levels that allow you to spend an entire boost without running into really difficult turns that where you really don't want the boost to be running. Now the yeah and the handling has been dumbed down quite a bit. It takes much more skill to do well in the old one. And it's much more fun, it's just much more intense. And this is not this is not nostalgia talking. It the old game just is better. Play both. There are a few 
areas where this is better. I'll get to those. Anyway, I I should maybe have started by saying this is a top-down racing game, and basically the idea is you don't have to cross the finish line first in order to win. If you destroy all your opponents, or the ones that are in front of you anyway, and thus get a lead, that is also a viable way to win. And that actually, more so in the old one than in this one, but in both, it's that's kind of the decision you have to make. Are you going to try to stay in the back and destroy the cars in front of you, risking not, not placing, not winning, not placing, if you don't manage to destroy all the other cars in, you know, before the race is over, or do you try to take the lead and then maintain the lead for the entire race, knowing full well that there are as many as, I think it goes up to eight in a race, so seven cars behind you, armed to the teeth, and just as hungry for that first place as you are. And that's a genuine, that's pretty cool that you have to think about that. Or, you know, do you want to do something in between? But it's just, there's actually strategizing to it. Now, one thing that I'm not sure the old one really has multiplayer, at least not like proper online multiplayer, this well, it has online multiplayer, I'm not sure about the proper part. It, it works, I, I think I got it to work. I didn't really know any of the people I was playing against, so for all I knew, they were just AI. And that's kind of the thing, it, you can't tell. I mean, when I'm playing, like, Star Wars Battlefront 2, I can tell if the guy I'm fighting is an AI, or another player, you can really tell in the sort of, and, and that game has smart bots, but in this, it's just kind of the same, but hey, at least it has multiplayer, that's good. And the graphics are of course better than the old one. And in general, they're, they're not too bad. It's, for a PC game, this is too simplistic, but for an app, this is good, I will say that. Now, this does have a story mode, although it's... Uh, yeah, like, like I already said, it's, it's pretty simple and... Yeah, it's, it's a simple little story. And yeah, there's, there's not really much else to say there. Now, in the old one, you had limited ammo for the machine gun that your car is automatically equipped with. And in this, you do have unlimited ammo, although you can only control when your machine gun fires if it's the only shooting weapon on your car. Because there are a couple of others, I'll name a few, so well, heck, I'll just you, you can, there's like a shotgun, a sniper rifle, yeah, I thought it sounded weird too. There's some rocket-based weaponry, I, I suppose that's about what I should mention in that. Anyway, basically, if you don't, if, if you do have one of those equipped, pressing the fire button, because they only put one, pressing the fire button will fire that weapon. It won't have any effect on the other one, on the machine gun. And the machine gun, it'll still fire. For, for a while, I seriously thought that it, it was just like running out of ammo or that the game was broken or something. But yeah, it'll still shoot when it feels like it. I, I guess there's some AI behind it, but it is bad. And the overall AI in the game, I mean, your your opponents, they drive pretty well. They drive quite well. Many of them are a real challenge to outrun. But the, 
yeah, the, the AI for firing a machine gun, it'll shoot when you don't want it to, like when there's an explosive barrel right in front of you. And it won't shoot when you really want it to. Case in point is when you're trying to shoot these boxes. See, in the old game, power pickups were just lying around, and you had to drive into them and you know, risk losing a lead. And in this, they're all inside boxes, and these boxes take a lot of bullets to take out. In fact, I think everything, I, I guess just the weapons suck, because destroying other cars is a real hassle. It's not nowhere near as fast as it was in the old one, where it's really intense. You and the other cars could get destroyed with fairly little fire, yeah, shooting. And in this, it just, yeah, it takes forever. It's, it's not so much challenging, it's just frustrating, and you lose patience with it. Anyway, the boxes also take forever to be shot apart. And, yeah, it, because of that, if you don't, if, if you are carrying any weapons, you know, you might just want to give up on a lot of those boxes. It just won't... Yeah. I suppose it does do... It, it does better when you're trailing a car and trying to shoot it. It does tend to shoot when you have a chance of hitting him with a machine gun. And sometimes when you don't really have a chance. Now... The pickups, I should give some examples. Ammo, the boost thing, health, money, and the... This is reasonably addictive, although it's also rather repetitive. Like I said, grinding, you know, it has nothing on the old one in, in that regard. It's because it's dumbed down so much, basically. And I will say, but I will say, pretty much every time I thought I was getting really tired of it, it I, I had unlocked a new car or track or weapon. So, yeah, it, it keeps wheeling you back in, but then, you know, around after five hours or so of playing, it's out of new things to give you, and then there's not really anything left to do. You know, most of what you do is just maxing out the upgrades for the weapons and the cars. This is a good time to get into how you get the new cars. Like I said, you don't save up money for them. Oh no, you collect parts for them around the racetrack. So there's no... It's, it's just putting in the hours, that's all. It's, there's, there's no real skill to, you know, get, getting the new cars or weapons, both are by collecting their parts. I mean, the parts are just there. Heck, you don't even have to win that race. It's not like you, you know, you have to pick up the part and then you have to make sure to come in the lead in that race or you'll lose the part. No, no, it's just, you know, you can just throw the race if you want to, so there's no skill to getting these car parts. And then you'll get the next car, and there's also around a half a dozen. And some of them are a little too similar, if you ask me. There's not that much of a difference. And one or two seem fairly useless. They don't... Like, when you get them, they're not a step up from what you already had. Yeah. Now, yeah, the, the real big problem is there are just too few decisions left in your hands. And there's nothing really on the line. There's, there's no saving or loading. You know, you can't really make it, make a mistake in the game. It's, it's one of these new games where, you know, think Assassin's Creed series. No matter what you do, 
it'll just be you know it'll be saved if if you if you collect something in an Assassin's Creed game, if you collect one of the feathers and then you die, that feather will still be in your possession. You don't have to redo it. So it's not like, oh, that feather is really difficult to get to. It's not getting to it, but it's also getting back like it was in the good old days of gaming. But nope, there's just there's nothing on the line. Just put in the hours. I get why. There's a lot of other distractions and there you know, there are way more games out there now than there used to be. They have a lot more competition. The internet, there's... Everything is vying for people's attention today. And so games felt like they had to adjust. But really, if you want to cater to those people, maybe at least make, like, difficulty settings so that we, who do want a challenge, who do want to really feel like we're getting into it, we're diving in head first, and we want decisions to matter. Make a difficult, you know, higher difficulty rating for us, so that we can also enjoy this. Now, the... Um, among those things, the old one had a loan shark, where you say you... Again, it's, it's very much about raising the money to get a better car, or upgrading the car you do have to make it easier to win races and earn more money because it's all about the money. It's it's a race. It's yeah. So the old one had a loan shark. Or sure, he'll he'll lend you some money, but you had better be ready to pay when he comes around to collect. It's, if I recall, he like take one of your upgrades, vehicle upgrades, if you don't have the money to pay him back. And you worked hard to be able to, you know, it... There's a real... There's there's something to it. And, and the old one also had these missions where, like, you had to collect steroids from the... from somewhere on the racetrack. And then win the race. And if... You know, there'd be a reward if you complete the mission. And again, money. If you don't complete the mission, I think that, like, take money away from, you know, it, yeah, it just, there was something riding on it. You, you could lose a lot from, you know, from losing a race. Now, the, the, there are a few more things to get to the, you can equip your car with spikes, and like I said, there are, there are these mines that, you, know, you you can carry three mines and drop them at any time right behind your car, and there's like half a second, full second delay before it's actually armed. So, and that's also something to keep in mind if you're trailing someone, which is it's the easiest way to use you know it's the only way to use your spikes is bumping into them. Excuse me, and trailing close behind them is the easiest way to make sure that the auto gun, and yeah, you'll usually want to use one of the other weapons as well as the machine gun, for the auto gun to continue pummeling him, and like I said, it takes a lot of fire. So, yeah, if, if you do that, you are at risk of him dropping a mine on you. Now... That more or less covers it. The, the music is fine. There's not really anything to say about it. it. It's supposed to like get you hyped and really get you into it. It's it's kind of just forgettable. I actually had to... I, I hadn't written anything down. I hadn't noted anything to say about the music. And suddenly I was, oh wait, there's the music in the game. And played it right before I turned on the camera, as I usually do, and tried to notice the music. It just kind of... And it's not so much that it, you're, you're so into it that you don't even notice the music particularly. It's just pretty forgettable. And there, there are a couple of challenge modes. Now, basically, every, every level that you've unlocked, or every level that has every level that's available to you is 
in in the you know you you can select from several of them. I don't think you can ever select from all of them, and basically some of them will actually possibly not my multiplayer. It's been I stopped playing that when I realized there wasn't particularly a difference. Anyway, yeah, you you select between them and. It'll say like what difficulty it is, and it'll list your most recent race time. It's it's again very simplistic, but basically, so so yeah, you you can't say well I want this race track on this difficulty setting. It's just it's a pre it's it's a package deal, and sometimes there will be these challenge modes, which will be. You know, there will be special rules, like everyone will be driving the same car. And you'll, you'll always be told what the challenge mode encompasses, or everyone will constantly be driving like they're using boost all the time. There might be only one lap to complete, and or one opponent to fight. And the, the there's one mode where you have five mines, and the and you can't use any shooting weapon other than your regular machine gun. And the, these help mix things up a bit. Without them, the the game is way too repetitive. And then there's also this deathmatch mode. Basically, there there isn't any race to it, you just destroy other cars. I personally didn't find that to be particularly fun. It's, it's, the, the fun is in also winning a race. It's, uh, yeah. I believe that covers everything. Yes. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.